Hello, Scribe Valdez. Are you available now to look for Marcia? She could be in trouble. I am. I was supposed to make a trip to Foundation, but a group of initiates recently returned from there and nobody remembers seeing her. Yeah, we should probably hop on that. That's actually kind of concerning, to be honest. So let me see, uh... Foundation? Could she be missing from the super mutant attack? I did consider that when I first heard of it. But I'd rather remain hopeful and investigate further. What do you need me to do? First, start by talking to her younger brother, Max. He might have an idea where she's gone. I'm going to remain hopeful that something didn't happen to her or anyone else who's missing. If something did happen while she was in our care, let's not worry about that just yet. Yeah, that would be pretty concerning all the way around. And it can implement the Brotherhood of Steel in a negative light. So let's try to see if we can find her. Hold on, she... Well, yeah, we gotta find her little brother, Max. Luckily for us, we know exactly where he is. Hello. Are you here to help me find my sister? As a matter of fact, I am. Do I look like a babysitter to <laughs> you? That's a little that's a little messed up. Uh yes I am. When did you last see your sister, by the way? Well, the last time I saw Marsha was when she told me she was going to foundation for some things. Uh, I think that something bad happened to her. It it was just supposed to be a quick trip to foundation, but she hasn't come back yet. I just know she would never leave me on purpose. Man, I really hope she's okay. I would hate to have something happen to her, you know? I mean, we lost an initiate in the last mission. If we were to lose Marsha too, that would suck, man. Uh, You and her were pretty close, weren't you? She's the one that takes care of me since mom died. I remember. One time we had to leave our home because some bad guys kept coming around. We left in a hurry and I forgot my favorite toy, an armor ace action figure. Marsha went back against Mom's orders to get him back for me. She said, I'll always be there for you, Max. Aww. She always has been. Aww, that's heartbreaking. It really, really is. So let's see, did she talk about anything else before she left? No, but when she said goodbye, she was acting really weird. She was like, you know I'll always love you, right? She never says stuff like that. It's usually, learn to behave, Max. <laughs> be quiet, Max. Her best friend, Luis Ramirez, might know something. He's an initiate too. That's funny. That's that's my IRL name, Luis. Not Ramirez, but Luis is my real my my real IRL name. So uh speak to initiate Ramirez. Hey Luis, where are you at? What's up, Luis? Okay. How can I help you? I wanted to talk to you about uh Marcia Leone. What has Marcia done this time? Not necessarily that she's done something, at least not that we know of just yet, but she is believed to be missing, and that right there in itself is concerning. Missing? Uh, <laughs> no, she's uh, she's just running an errand to Foundation. Yeah, she'll be back any minute. He definitely knows something. Yeah, you're a terrible liar. You know something. Talk. Damn it. Fine, I... I can't bear the thought of something happening to her. I can't be sure, but I think she may be with the Raider War Party. Whoa! We're not a Raider. That sucks. So let's see, uh... Would she really abandon her brother like that, though? Abandon? No, of course not. We were talking, and I assured her that I would never let anything happen to Max. I... I, I guess... I told her exactly what she needed to hear. But that doesn't really make sense. Why would she leave to join the Raiders? She told me once that she stayed as long as she could for Max's sake, but being here was like an open wound for her. Why did living with the Brotherhood hurt her so much? Yeah, I don't think it's my place to tell her story, but let's just say that she blames them. Or us. For the death of her mother. That's heartbreaking. It really is. I... Even if she blamed the Brotherhood, wouldn't it be better to 
leave with your brother and not necessarily join the Raiders, just probably just hang out in Foundation. That would probably be the best bet for her and her brother. Well, I need to talk to the Raider uh, War Party then. Good luck, and please bring her back. That's heartbreaking, dude. Like, they're the last family that they have together, and she leaves her brother? Well, we don't know that yet, but that's the assumption so far. She leaves her brother for the Raiders. I'm, I'm getting the feeling that she may blame the Brotherhood, but I don't think she would leave her brother. Uh, I hope not, at least. That'll be pretty... Pretty... Uh, not just selfish, but cold-hearted, you know? I would hate her if that was the case. He, Max is just a kid. Alright, wait, hold on. Let me see. So, we gotta go to Foundation, I'm assuming? Yep, uh... No, that's not it. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to the quests. Maybe we, it'll be a little easier to find out where it's at if we do this. Or not. What is the quest that says, Max isn't sure where, uh, Marcy has gone, but suggested that I speak to her best friend, Initiate named Luis Ramirez. Receive, uh, retrieve Marcia from the Raiders. But where is the Raiders? Unless it's, it is, it's in, it's in, a uh, Crater. Wow. She went big time Raiders then. To the biggest organized raiding group in Appalachia. For some reason I thought she was going to be in Foundation, but I guess not. Let me see here. So it's it. The Raider War Party is out back. That that's where what's his name was, right? From the previous mission that we did a while back ago, for uh, during the Wastelanders thing. Yeah, it is. So I hope she's not here. I really hope she's not here. Man, I hope she's not here. That would be infuriating. <sighs> Alright. What did the mission is retrieve Marcia from the Raiders? We need to do something about them. I'll go. It's my fault anyway. I know you're eager to help, but Sheena and Burke are the best there is. Anything that gives them trouble is going to be extremely dangerous. What are you doing here? I have the biggest temptation to just... Mm. You have some nerve <clears throat> showing up here after you sold us out. I'll let Marcia speak for herself. But I'm pretty sure she's not interested in going back. Hell no, I'm not. How about you don't waste everyone's time and just leave? I can see that Sheena and Burke are missing. What happened to them? Astute observation, detective. Doesn't make it any of your business. If we stand by and do nothing, then they will be dead. Sheena and Burke went to AMS headquarters to retrieve something for us and haven't returned yet. Marsha. Oh, damn it. <laughs> sure wasn't my plan for you to know about this, but now that you do, I guess there's no way around it. Marsha's not going back with you. She's going after Sheena and Burke. She's been bossed around by the Brotherhood enough in her life. Why don't you do something for her for a change and help out? Uh, why are why are they at AMS? I overheard some Brotherhood initiates talking about how AMS headquarters was a place of interest. It was the piece of intel I gave to Pierce and the others so that they would consider letting me join. It's my fault that they're missing. I should have tried to get more information. That makes sense. And why exactly can't you get them back on your own? Nice try. As much as it kills me, I'm not stupid enough to leave things unsupervised when two of us are already missing. I mean, I mean, that's fair. I get that. He's not that dumb for being a raider. As a matter of fact, these raiders in Appalachia are just not that dumb, period. Which is a good thing. Character building, you know, I like that a lot. So let's see, uh, I'm here for Marcia, not to do your uh, your bidding. <clears throat> I'm not going back to Fort Atlas. 
No one gave you the right to make my life decisions for me, and the Brotherhood doesn't own me. Who said that they own you? I don't... I don't like this answer. Because it suggests that everybody under the Brotherhood is, I guess, property uh, in a sense. Almost. I don't know, it's... Alright, and plus she'll probably hate the Brotherhood more if I do this choice. And she'll never go back or be happy if she went back with her brother like that, you know? Uh, she'll probably resent the brother too. So, alright, fine. Let's go to AMS and find Sheena and Burke. I feel better having one of us there instead of blindly trusting the Brotherhood. <clears throat> Make sure someone is focused on saving Sheena and Burke. One of us? You really mean it? I'll prove to you, Pierce, that I belong here. I'll undo what I've done. You being willing to put your life on the line for us is indication enough that you belong in this family. Bring my people back alive and in one piece. I'll meet you at AMS. I'm not coming back with you after, though. I have a new family. You'll come back. I'll, I'll convince you, I hope. I just gotta use her brother as leverage. That's cold-hearted, though, dude. How could she abandon her brother for the Raiders? The logical thing to do is take her brother to Foundation. That's what I would do. Not to join... An organized crime syndicate, if you will. I mean, if that's what you want to do, I get it. It's the post, uh, it's post, -apo uh, it's the post apocalypse, but regardless, AMS, where's AMS? I, I don't remember where AMS is. Uh, I could have sworn it was at the, in the Savage Divide. Alright, we're going to do this the old fashioned way. Do it. Well, that doesn't help. Using the map for that? Or maybe I'm pushing the wrong button? Oh yeah, I am pushing the wrong button. C. Okay, AMS is over there. 58 caps? Alright, sure, that's fine. Looks like we got a nuke coming in too. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Not interested in a nuke right now. Thank you though, I appreciate it. But right now, we have someone to retrieve from the Brotherhood. <clears throat> Eventually. Okay. Automated mining so it's upstairs? I'm nervous. Wait, where is she at? Shouldn't she be here with us? AMS is here for you. Thank you for visiting. You're welcome. Are you not gonna go? Oh! Okay, I guess I had to push it again. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Hellcat mercenary? What is a Hellcat? Whoops. I'm hit. You're dead. You don't even have a head, bro. Hello! You almost did, to be fair. I kind of just finished them off for you. Uh, you know, I know, but it's never a bad idea to offer some help, you know? I've had to be the one who takes care of Max and me. I'm not used to accepting help. I know, I'm okay. sure. Now that that's taken care of, we should look around and see if there's any trace of Sheena or Burke. I already did a sweep of this floor before that mercenary attacked me and didn't find anything. Let's try looking upstairs. What are the Hellcats, though? That- there's a bunch of new things being added here, and it's pretty fascinating. A new type of super mutant on top of some mercenaries? Alright, let me see. Are you bad? Yes, you are. They are tanky. 
extremely. I don't really need steel scrap. At least not right now, and it's not that hard to get if I need it in the future. Uh, boiling or boiled water? No, thank you. Okay, maybe we should sneak up on this guy. Haha! -ha! That guy was a legendary three star. Uh oh. Hold on. Got him. Ooh. Whoops. This is. This is power armor. Uh oh. Who said that? Somebody over here. I need to target the head. Goodbye. See, the head is where it does all the good critical hits. Where'd he go? There he is. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. What is this thing? Oh, ultra sight scrap. Okay, never mind. I don't need that. So clear the enemies. What is the weakness to to these guys? Also, why are you not helping me, Mrs. I'm a badass? There you go. Alright. Clearly these things oh god. Alright, let's let's go ahead and chill for just one second. Let our AP regenerate. Uh oh. Use VATS! It won't let me use VATS for some reason. That was weird. I'll definitely take the lead, because I, I can use lead to make ammo. Alright, something's here. Oh, it's a machine. Dove necklace? That necklace. I know that necklace. Where are you? Do I have to stand up to talk to you? I guess so. I that necklace anywhere. That's <laughs> <Burke's> necklace. <laughs> My mom had a similar necklace that she always wore. Never took that thing off. I My dogs are going crazy. To retrieve it from her. her body. Okay. <clears throat> necklace or no, her memory will live on in you. I thank you. You're right. Max and I will keep her memory alive. Maybe I can tell you about her sometime. If you want. At least we know that Burke and Sheena made it to AMS. Let's keep looking. So, I mean, that's a good thing. That she's still thinking about her brother because we can definitely remind her that her brother will always need her help. Even if it's not help in the traditional sense like, I, I, need, I need your assistance or stuff. But just being there for each other is something that they're going to need, both of them, for a long time. So let's see, find clues to where the raiders are. Definitely around here somewhere. I don't know why I tried to run. Hey, eight ball. Take that. Thank you very much. Let's just do some quick light searching, just in case there's somebody I need to blast in the face. Get out of my way. Alright, let me see. Ooh, let's try our luck. I've never been able to do that, by the way. Never. Ooh, a dead guy. Raider corpse. Wait, there. It's the body of a... Alright, it's the body of a dead raider. They appear to have died within the last couple of days. Yikes. That's not good at all. Can I hack this? No. So there's gotta be. Oh wait, there's something. Oh no, it's her. That's one of the raiders that went with Sheena and Burke. I hope they're still okay. I'm so tired of all the blood and death. I'm tired of losing everyone that I care about. First my mother's death, and now this. 
And yet you leave your brother alone. <sighs> Who else have you lost? Everyone. Everyone from our camp was killed. Except Max and me. Exactly. We were told to stay out of the fight. I should have been there, though. Fighting beside them. Well, first things first. I do think that death is a... Uh... A reality of life in my personal opinion death is what makes life have more meaning or just meaning in general uh so i do want to say this but i'm not going to because i think this is the more logical approach for this right now seen as we really don't know if they're dead we haven't found any evidence of their demise if you will uh just the fact that everyone around them is seems to be dying just not them in general so we don't really know for sure if they're dead you're right. <clears throat> Sheena and Brooke are strong. I'm sure they're here somewhere. Maybe. Come on. We've got to hurry and find them. For all we know, they left. Okay, let's go back to sneak mode. It's not a stealth character, this guy. But stealth definitely helps. Whether or not you're a stealth character or not. It's just obviously if you're a stealth character, you get more crit for sneaking. What is this? A hastily written note. Ooh, they're leaving clues behind. Hell, we're overrun. Gotta surrender. Only way to make it alive. Please find us, Sheena. Whoa, they got captured. Assuming by the Hellcats. I wish I didn't have to get out of sneak to talk. A note from Sheena. Can't believe they surrendered. Hopefully that means they were taken alive. The Raiders. They really are like a family. The kind that I want to be a part of. You want to be a part of the Raider family? What about Max and Ramirez? Aren't they your family? Of course. They'll always be my family. I just couldn't stand staying in that place anymore with the Brotherhood. One day, they'll understand. Hell, maybe they'll even join me. So, she has the mentality. The top of AMF. We must be getting close. Let's hurry. So she has the mentality of the grass is greener on the other side, which is fine to an extent, but I don't subscribe to that mentality personally. I subscribe to the grass is greener where you stay and water it. So you can always make your situation better, but leaving and abandoning those that you love and care about never is the right idea. You do more damage that way to the people closest to you by doing that. That's just my opinion. Let me know down in the comments if, what you guys think. Requires terminal. That's absurd. Facilities terminal. Working on that, honey. Uh, Hellcat eyes only. Don't go opening this door unless you have an appointment to see Sergeant Kit. Open door. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of curious. Avoid radiation labs, pneumatic, elevator, emergency, security installations. Okay, never mind. Back into sneak mode. What's in here? <clears throat> Nothing. Be taking that. Thank you very much. Do what you love and uh oh. Never work a day in your life. What was that? Uh oh. This was a legendary. Where's the... There it is. Okay, I'll just take that. Can I even get him from here? Yes. Yes, I can. They got the high ground on me. Where are they? I've been here. Oh, yeah, I have been here before. Long time ago. I actually had a hard time here. Hold on. How do I open that door, though? Who's shooting at me? How'd you get down there? Yeah, I guess I should be using crits more, huh? Let's go ahead and drink some water before I dehydrate. Is the door in here? I mean, the uh, access in here. It's not. So how do I get in there? Window, maybe? Really? 
You and that little girl are the ones giving my mercs all this trouble. What you is that armor? Don't put up with anyone getting in the way of us or our caps. This ends now. So are we gonna fight? Oh no. Dude, I could literally just shoot him through here. What is that? I hate robots, dude. All right, one down. Oh, this guy's a legendary. Two star. I really need my AP to regenerate a little bit. Oh, there's more coming from the bottom too. Oh no. Hold on, actually I got an idea. Being up here is probably my best bet. Oh no! I just broke my chest. He's dead. Alright, let's let our AP regenerate a little bit so that we can take out these robots, hopefully with some crits. What? And he mutated, of course. Do I have landmines, by any chance? I don't have any explosives at all. Period. Alright, we're, we're doing damage. We're doing good. I think this is the last guy. Also, where is Marsha? Always get the high ground, fellas. Always. Always. Nocturnal Pitchfork. That is the weapon I've always wanted. Is it even a... Nope. One star is what I've always wanted. Wow. Can Marsha come help me? Is she coming to help me? Well, even if she is, I don't think she'll come in time. I'm dead. All right. Well, that sucks. Hopefully I respawn up there. I shouldn't have left where I was, to be honest. Hello? Where are they at? Ah! Go away! Oh, I'm nervous. This is... This place always has, like, some serious bad guys. You know what? I'm going back to where I was. It is a good place up there. I have, like, a bunch of cover. No, give me that guy. Alright, one down. Okay, hold up. How are they shooting me? Dead. Okay, one more, I think. We still haven't even we we still haven't even fought uh what's his name? Kit? Kinda reminds me of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. All right, good. That's another one down. Where is the health of my weapon? Okay, it's still, still decent. Is that everyone? He's coming, finally. Come here, Kit. Oh my God, he's got a minigun. Come here. I wish I had explosives right now, I really do. <clears throat> you just stay there. The recoil on this gun is top notch. Relax, bro. Just trying to chill here.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Heal. Oh, wrong one. Yikes. This guy is tough. Come here, buddy. You're gonna continue getting hit, too. Oh, okay. Let's go. Ooh. I need to chill. Dude, this guy is so tanky. What power armor is he using? I bet you Marsha's dead. Alright, let's go. This is it, guys. Done, skis. Blue Ridge delivers again. Your most recent delivery was quite satisfactory. The Hellcat Company is earning its reputation, and the decision to acquire people from Blue Ridge uh, Caravan Camp Company was a canny one. The, uh, the raiders you have captured for the next delivery will provide some intriguing comparisons, but I encourage you to take stock less likely to be contaminated with drugs. It is good to know that there are some holding cells at AMS headquarters that, uh, that we can use if need be in the future. Okay. So we're going to Blue Ridge. This letter seems to this this letter implies that Sheena and Burke were captured. Captured? That's good. That means they were taken alive. We need to figure out where these holding cells are. See if you can find anything else that hints toward their location. Well, the holding cells were here. Who do you think this B is? I have no idea. But that son of a bitch is gonna pay for messing with Sheena and Burke. So I think this B person, I'll keep looking. Please hurry. This B person's identity whenever we discover it is probably going to be what m makes her go back to the Brotherhood. Okay, AMS. Are you going to let me get in there? Oh, there he goes. So where's the holding cells? Go down to the lobby. So we got to go all the way down again. No, wait. Up here? Is there an elevator? Oh, we're taking some pipes down. That's interesting. I, I do get the feeling like we would die, though, if we were to do that in real life. Depending on how high we are. Basement key. Alright. So dark in here. Alright, let's go. Back into sneak mode. We really gotta make it a priority at some point to fix our armor, don't we? Hello? Who are you? One down. I ran out of AP. Done. Who's next? I kind of want to search this guy and see if he's got anything useful. No, is the answer. It's okay, though. It says danger, but there's no one else here. Hello? Found him. Got one. You don't know how the Brotherhood stealth machine goes. Perfect. That was great. I enjoyed that, actually. I'll just take a couple stim packs because we took a lot of damage in that last place. Where's this guy? There he is. Okay, I want to check over here first. Wait, who are you? That's not Sheena, is it? <gasps> that is them! Okay, so we gotta kill the do the dogs, the guards. Let's open this and see if there's anyone in there. 
I don't know why the shutter doors are over here though. Requires two unlock. <sighs> All right. Goodbye. Oh, but say, are you not gonna die? Yeah, I already found you guys. So that's Burke, that's Sheena. There we go. What the hell? Motherhood set their lackey to try and bring me back. I told them I refused to even consider it until we found you. They're actually not as bad as I thought. And they helped me find you. But anyway, are you two okay? You look pretty beat up. Been better. Good work on giving these mercenaries hell, Marsha. You'll make a great addition to the war party. So, can you get us out of here or not? Uh... You can rot in there? Here's your necklace back, Burke. Thank you. I won't forget this. Um, so what did you find here? Nothing that could be of use to us. It seems like they were doing some sort of experiments on people down here. That terminal over there might have more information. Okay. How did you get captured? Sheena made the right choice. Thanks, Burke. There was no way we would have made it out of there alive. And I knew Pierce wouldn't just let us go missing. My quick thinking is what kept us alive. Not everything can be won with a fight. Got it. So, let me find out how to let you out. I appreciate your help. Don't worry, you two. We'll get you out soon. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I bet you it's in here, but I don't got... Wait, hold on. Terminal is in here. Copy of research notes? Okay. Open the cages. So research... Okay, well, research lab two. Test subject 00 received triple standard dosing today. It appears that all cognitive brain activity has ceased. The test subject's ag uh, aggression levels have been increased. Whoa, they're biologically changing someone's aggressive levels, aggression levels, likely due to reduced brain function caused. Caution is advertise, uh, advised. Research log one, test subject 00 has received their first dose of heated ultrasite. Whoa, they're giving people ultrasite. Uh, standard dosing amount. It appears that their amplified radiation exposure that occurred in our animal testing subjects also occurs in humans. Go figure. That is like the du oh my god. The lack of logic in these people, I swear. Or rational. Or rationale on these guys, I swear. The test subject uh, has symptoms of severe radiation sickness and has experienced total loss, hair, uh, and significant skin damage. Go figure. Research log 3, test subject 00 was unable to sustain the amounts of radiation and is now deceased. Surprise! Alright, let's let these guys out. Hopefully they help me convince her to leave. Hey. Oh wait, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Now that we found Sheena and Burke, we can talk. What's up? Uh... Can we talk about you coming back to the Brotherhood? Hold on. Can you tell me what happened to your mother from your perspective? It's hard to talk about, but you've been so patient with me. I've really ever only talked about it with Ramirez, but... Alright. Hmm. The town that Max and I were living in with our mother was being threatened by a group of raiders. When the Brotherhood came into town, they decided to be saviors. Uh they actually thought it would be a good idea to arm a bunch of ordinary people with high-tech weaponry. When the raiders came, they took the weapons and slaughtered our people. If we hadn't tried to fight back, my mother would still be alive. Well, first of all, that's deep. But I don't think there was any ill intent with the Brotherhood in this situation. I think everything was good uh, in in the eyes of the brotherhood in my opinion 
Arming the local population to defend themselves is probably the best thing you can do. Uh, without losing strength from the Brotherhood too. Because at the, you gotta keep in mind that the Brotherhood in Appalachia were tiny. So... They don't. They didn't have the manpower to protect everyone. So helping the people protect themselves is probably the more logical thing to do. In this case, her family paid the paid the price, but it, it kind of happens, you know. It's part of life. If you're gonna protect yourself against an organized militia, a bad militia of raiders. People are going to get hurt, unfortunately. Ah, that's just my opinion, though. Um, the weak don't... This sounds raiders. Raider-like. This is what I would say. If the raiders themselves killed your mother, why would you join them? I swear, she has... No rationale. Like, in her opinion, in, in her, like, from her perspective, I can see where she's coming from, from both angles, right? Like, she joined, or she, uh, she hates the Brotherhood because it was their weapons that eventually killed her family. So I can understand her perspective, but why join the Raiders? The logical thing to do would be to take her brother to, to, uh, to the, uh, settlers, right? That's what I would have done, at least. If the raiders killed your mother, why would you join them? These were a different kind of raiders. <clears throat> Ruthless, bloodthirsty, callous. The war party is like a family, banded together to fight against the Brotherhood's tyranny. Let's not get it confused. Raiders may have pulled the trigger, but the Brotherhood supplied the guns. Stolen. Stolen. They stole the guns. That doesn't make this the Brotherhood's fault. This is the answer I want. Let me see if I have anything to boost. I don't think I do. Let me see if I have anything to boost charisma. Nope. I don't think I do. I don't. Wait, hold on. Aid, maybe. Please, charisma. Pretty please, charisma. Oh, I'm screwed. Hey. Um. Now that we found Sheena and Burke, we can talk. What's up? <sighs> can we talk about you coming back to the Brotherhood? Sure. I'll hear what you've got to say. Come back with me to the Brotherhood. You, Ramirez, Odessa, you've all shown me that maybe all Brotherhood members aren't the same. But I can't just leave the war party. We're family now. Max needs you not to end up a bootlicker. Yeah, what would your mother think if you left Max? Mom? You're right. She would be rolling in her grave right now if she knew I left Max in the care of someone else. She always told us to stick together. Marsha, no. Why would you go back to them? The Brotherhood are our enemies. I'm not joining the Brotherhood. But I can't just abandon everyone at Fort Atlas. That's logical. I can't help me see that. I'm sorry. I really am. I'll never forget the way that you all accepted me into your family. I hope that one day we'll be able to see each other again. And it won't be on fighting terms. Thanks again. For everything. I'll see you back at Fort Atlas. I, I like this ending better than the alternative. But I wish that I could have convinced her that the Brotherhood was trying to do the good thing. The right thing. I don't think the Brotherhood had any bad intentions whatsoever. 
uh, and helping the people protect themselves, especially in a post-apocalyptic world, is the good is the better option in my opinion. Just maybe they could have offered a little training. That's probably the irresponsible part in my opinion, but still they could have trained themselves in many respects as well. I still don't think the Brotherhood was at fault here. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Hold on, where? Where's the exit? <laughs> oh, it's duh. It's, I forgot it's the elevator. Yeah, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. If uh, the Brotherhood did the right thing or if you guys personally think that the Brotherhood is at fault for this situation. Like if their irresponsibilities ultimately were left. Uh, what led not just to the family die, but the opinions of Marsha was right and justified. Although, although I still think that, although I can see where she's coming from, I don't think her rationale is there. It doesn't logically make sense to me. But I'm interested to hear what you guys think. I mean, you know what? I'm doing this the long way. I always forget that I can fast travel from, from inside here. No, right there. I always forget that I can fast travel from inside of buildings in 76. I always forget that. I have literal hundreds of hours in this game uh, on my main character, especially, and on different platforms. And I've never, never remember that I could fast travel from inside buildings. It's kind of funny. Hold up. Let's go. It's like someone nuked this place again. Is there like new rewards or something up here in Mananga? I'm not sure. All right, so let's see what uh, Scribe Valdez says. I don't like that. Something I can help. Hold on. You? Yeah, let's see. Welcome back, Initiate. I see that Marcia has returned and in brighter spirits than before. That's good. I don't know how you managed it, but great work. Did you discover anything else on your mission? Uh, there was a letter from someone named B. Hmm. This letter is concerning. It is. Well, Marcia wasn't missing, it seems that these Hellcat mercenaries and the Blue Ridge Caravan Company are both involved in the other disappearances. Please. Take this to Romani as soon as you can. She'll want to hear about this. No, wait. I, I can't say anything about the research notes? It isn't my favorite initiative. Uh. No. I'll be here if you need anything. What did I get out of this? Because I'm over encumbered now. Don't know. Luckily, they ad they added uh, a few patches ago this new thing. Ooh, I'll take that mercenary outfit. Whoops. And I got an a mercenary outfit. Let me inspect this. Oh, <gasps> from Fallout Three, or the Creation Club from Fallout Four. That's actually pretty cool. AMS key, Blue Ridge delivers again. I don't think I have anything else. So I'm over encumbered, but not by a lot. Let's go ahead and drop the baseball grenades. I mean, that's enough for me to be okay. So let's just leave it at that. Out of the blue. Hello? Wait, hold on. Oh, it's downstairs. Where's the stairs? Let's go find the stairs. 